Help now reaching those who endured a stormy and destructive Sunday along Florida's southwest coast. The damage left by these winter tornadoes. One bright bit of news, no deaths have been reported. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney with more on the effort to help from our coast. On Florida's west coast, the cleanup was underway. The damage being assessed and those now without homes in dire need after the tornado, now believed to be an F2, struck Sunday morning with winds up near 118 miles an hour. This video of the twister captured by a nearby homeowner, debris swirling in the air as it cut a path of destruction. It was a no notice disaster and, and really just devastated um, certain parts of the Fort Myers community. Sierra Campbell is with the American Red Cross in South Florida, which is pitching in with volunteers from South Florida to help in the Fort Myers communities hit hard developments with names like Iona, Tropicana, Point Breeze and Century 21. Since last night, um, so including dinner, breakfast and lunch uh, so far today, we provided almost 300 meals um, to those that have been impacted. We have two emergency response vehicles that are out canvassing the affected areas. In Lee County, it's estimated at least 62 homes are unlivable and power out for thousands. It was also just one of several tornadoes believed to have hit southwest Florida on a Sunday in a large weather system that left damage from Port Charlotte to Marco Island. Now devastated, homeowners are relying on any assistance they can get. That's how we're able to always be prepared is through our volunteers and through the generosity of our donors. Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.